Welcome to Inside the Studio with Greg Wirth. And in this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how to lay a quick drum sample using Massey DRT and also picking a drum sample engines as Stephen Slate Drums, otherwise known as SSD4. So um, what I've done here is I've just, I've just selected a small area for a demonstration's sake. And this is the kick drum. And what you do is you go up to the audio suite and you find the Massey DRT. And this is a plug-in. So basically once you have the selection that you want to um, create a MIDI trigger of, you just hit Analyze. And as you can see, it analyzes the track here. So basically once this is analyzed, you can deselect this. And then you can go in and select um, individual areas. And as you can see, there's a lot of false triggers here. So what I recommend doing is going back here and you can dial back the sensitivity to get rid of all those false triggers. And once, once you've gotten a certain spot like that, you can go in one by one and highlight this. And as you can see here, it's only triggering the kick hit. And what I like to do is go a couple at a time like this just to make sure that it's not missing anything. And um, let me see if there is one missing and I'll show you how to add one. Okay, so see this did a pretty good job here. All right, so I, I adjusted that pretty good, but just say for an example, that little uh, soft hit there was missing. And what you do is you just hover your mouse over here and it's got this plus sign. And you can, um, if you make a closer selection like that, you can see the region really close. And just find that starting point and just add a trigger there. And the same with false triggers, you can go and subtract them. So basically, once you've done that and you have um, everything complete, you can basically drag the MIDI information. And what I do is I, I put it in shuffle mode and then you can just drag it over here into an instrument track. Let me get this out of the way here. And then here's your MIDI information. So if I did the whole track, obviously this would be all filled, but I just picked a selection. So this is where you can check to see if the trigger is accurate. And as far as I'm concerned, it's been fairly accurate. Depending on the leakage in the track, you have to go and tweak it. But this is one of the most accurate ones that I've ever used. Um, I'll go as far as to say that personally for me, it's the most accurate one. But um, what I like about it is... Um, Actually, let me pull this back. I missed one thing. If you select this, um, what I mentioned was that you can adjust the sensitivity here. But another thing that's really cool is you can adjust the dynamics. So if you raise this slider, you can see these yellow lines um, get leveled out a little more. So that represents velocity. So depending on how dynamic you want this to track, you can adjust it there. And then this slider over here adjusts the overall volume. So if you want to crank it up, you can do so there. So, okay. So basically, let me, uh, let me play this now. So I just, you know, I, I use Steven Slate drums and, um, I found a cool kick here. It's actually under the classic, the, I guess it's a chili pepper kick recorded at NRG. And, um, so let's just hear it. So it's kind of cool. I mean, um, what, what I look for is samples is just to enhance something that's missing from the original recording. And sometimes you, you want to lay a sample to add a little bit of low end, or sometimes you need it to add that super top end beater sound. Um, so, you know, it just depends on what you're looking for. And um, th this is a good collection because they have a lot of variety of sounds here. And... Um, Basically, so now, um, 
once this is here and what you should listen for is to make sure that the velocity is correct. And if you made a mistake in uh, DRT, you don't necessarily have to go back. You can just view the velocity here and tweak it to taste. So I always recommend making sure that you're happy with how the MIDI is triggering before you print it to audio. So now say that, you know, we're committed here with this. So what you do um, using Pro Tools 11 here, if uh, you're using Pro Tools 12, you can do track freeze, but um, just pick a unique bus and I would recommend zeroing out the fader here and then you can bounce that bus kick sample import after bounce and since I selected this track here that audio track will show up right beneath it and then this window pops up new track yes and I want it to go to where it's selected you could also select session start, but since I only did this section here, I want it to go to the selection. So it lines it up and see, as you can see here, the volume is a little low. So I could either go back to my velocity here and select all these and raise them up, or I could have gone back to DRT and raised the overall volume here. But for this example, it's perfectly fine. So. Let's listen to this. And just to show here, it's still lined up. And so this is where you can actually not only audibly check phase, but visually. So you can see that the waveform are slightly different, but they're in phase. So that's what you want there. So um, I'll just go ahead and play the drum track as it was without the sample and then I'll play it with and just show you what it sounds like adding it in there. So it adds a little um, top end and a little low end girth. And the important thing here is, uh, for me at least, is to sound natural. You know, I really don't like to lay samples unless I feel like it's going to add to the track. And as I said in a previous uh, video, it's all about adding things incrementally, little by little. This gives you a better, better overall sound or it adds to it without having to drastically EQ a track. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, it's the same for the snare, and if you want to go ahead and do toms as well. But um, what I'll do is I'll just play this section um, with the whole track, just so you can hear it in the in the mix. So there you have it. Uh, I'm really happy with that. That took about, you know, five, 10 minutes to lay a sample. So I just wanted to share that with you because I was super excited to find out about uh, Massey DRT because I was having a real hard time with some other stuff that I was using. And uh, this just does what it says it's supposed to do. And, you know, it's, it's just under a hundred bucks. It's super cheap and uh, they have a free demo. So I recommend you checking that out. And I'm sure most of you know about Stephen Slate drums. It's some of the best drum samples out there. So, you know, feel free to check that out as well. They always give good deals and you can demo everything for 14 days or whatever it is. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to the YouTube channel and the newsletter on my website. And I'll check you out next time.